The controversy surrounding the government's purchase of telecom shares from the UK-based Helios Investment Partners has taken a new twist today after the National Assembly Joint Committee on Finance and Communications revealed that the government was duped into the deal that may have seen the Kenyan taxpayer lose over 30 billion shillings. So far, we have able to establish that a payment was made. However, no shares were transferred. So the 6.042 billion shillings is a payoff for a loan. So if you are to look at the total loss, possibly it's not even 6 billion. It could be upwards of 30 billion. The MPs, however, directed the blame to the previous regime's relevant ministries and the cabinet. The genesis of all these transactions began on 1st of April from a letter from, purported from Security Council asking the cabinet secretary for Treasury to initiate transactions. It is for this reason that the committee has now resolved to summon top officials from the previous government, beginning with the former head of public service, Joseph Kenyua. A cabinet resolution is communicated to the CS Treasury by none other than the head of public service. However, the MPs were sharply divided over whether to summon former ICTCS John Sheru or not. What has, has so far come out, it doesn't look like either the ICT ministry authorized or rejected because it was not a player. When the cabinet sits like in this table, who submits to the cabinet on that matter of telecom sale? Cabinet secretary for ICT. Mine as the CS uh, who then was in charge of uh, ICT. This is not complete. Yeah. So even Abuandeto felt that, that that witness is not a witness of interest yet, it is within his right. So if you think the person is of interest, convince us why. And these honorable members uh, converse on that particular matter and we agreed that the former cabinet secretary is a person of interest yes. and we agree that we're doing an invitation. Helio's investment was not spared either, with some members demanding that it also be summoned to appear before the committee. The documents mentions Helios as one of the shareholders. But Jamuri has been invited. So I was also keen that Helios, whether it is something not existing or what, we want this Helios also to be invited to appear. Very critical. The committee will continue with its sitting next week from Tuesday. Chairman, if you want to remove a chica, you must deal with its ex so that you are sure you are properly cured. And we invite you for lunch. Philip Murutuke, 24, Nairobi.